Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back. I've been getting a ton of questions asking about the stand I'm using for my Shure SM7B. And so I wanted to hop on and make a quick little video about that. Okay, before I get into this, I also want to mention that I am not being paid by this company. This isn't a paid advertisement. I just think that this is a really quality piece of gear and I get so many questions about this. As you can see, I've got it set up behind me. This is my main mic I've been using for voiceovers, YouTube videos, online lessons and streaming, uh, stuff like that. It's kind of like the go-to mic for podcasting, but I've even used it recording my guitars, my acoustics. I've even used it on some amps. So it's a really versatile microphone, super cool. But the problem is it's really, really heavy. So most people that are using this mic have it on a dedicated boom stand, but in my little home studio, I don't really have a solution for a boom stand. Now, if you have a really nice mixing desk or something like that, there's oftentimes like a hole or pre-drilled mounting setup to mount your boom stand in, or you can get boom stands that clamp onto your desk or your tabletop or something like that. Uh, my problem is I don't really have a nice mixing desk. I just have this kind of piece of crap desk I got at Target. And it's a decent desk, but there's drawers in it. So I can't really clamp it down to the drawer and there's no mounting stuff on the surface. So I decided to try to find uh, just a tabletop mic stand. So what I'm using is the Gator Frameworks Compact Bass Bass Drum and Amp Mic Stand. The bass on this mic stand is super heavy. I'd say the whole thing weighs like maybe five or 10 pounds. The problem is I always have to have the boom lined up with the base of the mic stand because if I move it sideways, it just tips over like this. I've always got to have the mic pointed straight out, kind of aligned with the bass, and then it works awesomely. You can get this online for about 45 or 50 bucks, somewhere in that range. Pretty cheap for a mic stand of that quality. Plus it doubles when I'm micing my amps and all that stuff. So pretty versatile mic stand. Really think it's the way to go. So that's about it. If you guys have any other questions, drop them in the comments down below. Let me know what you think. Uh, or if you guys have a better solution, please let me know. Uh, I'd love to hear it. Thanks a bunch. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel. Really appreciate the support, the likes and the comments. Uh, really keep it going. So thanks again to all you guys. Really appreciate it. See you in the next video. Peace.